Hey everyone, so I wanted to record something a little different. You know, I know most of my lectures are just about the narrative of history and why things happen, and I have an entire history of the Arab Israeli conflicts and the history of Israel. I wanted to do something different, and I know I'm not a huge channel, and this may not get a million views or anything, maybe just a few hundred, but if even I can reach a few people to, to help them understand this, it's worth it to me to spend some time on this because. What your Jewish friends are feeling right now is something that is hard for many people to, to grasp. You know, it wasn't just what happened on October 7th, which was this mass murder and slaughter of 1,400 civilians, which would be, by the way, the equivalent of 30, 40,000 people in the United States. So, you know, try to visualize and imagine any group, any ethnicity, whether it's somebody, whatever, and 30, 40,000 of them are taken and massacred in the United States over some political dispute or some, you know, uh, feeling of being, you know, something, some whatever, some crazy ass excuse that people use. And, and they, 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 they murder 40,000 Americans of a specific background, a specific ethnic group. And they do it in those brutal ways. And then after that, after that happens, you get like this moment of, oh, my God, that's so horrible. And then you start watching the news and you start seeing the social media and you literally see people cheering what happened. I mean, that's what we saw. You know, you go on social media and you saw literally October 7th was the event. Before October 8th, you already saw people cheering what was happening. And then you start to see what goes on globally and in the United States and college campuses, which is absolutely frightening. You know, yesterday, as I was recording, you know, I'm recording this yesterday, there was a news story that there was a plane going from Tel Aviv to, to Russia. And there was a mob that was ready to go and grab and kill the Jewish passengers. So they had to put it on lockdown. And you go, well, that's Russia. In Germany, there are homes being tagged with stars of David. So people can indicate who they are. Um, London businesses are shot, are being it shattered, glasses shattered, just like crystal knocked. Um, and then you see what you see on college campuses in the United States. It's it's absolutely frightening. Yesterday there was a um, a threat to Cornell University's Jewish community in a college in New York City just a few days back. Uh, there was a mob that threatened the Jewish group. They had to lock themselves in the library. Uh, and, you know, sadly, you've got examples from Harvard and Penn State and so many. It's, it's just all over the place. You see L.A., you see Berkeley, and then you get the silence from so many, especially in colleges, college presidents and uh, chancellors. There have been some who have been brave and have said things like, you know, we're not going to tolerate this kind of anti-Semitism on our community. Um, and, and this is not about the political aspect of it. This is not about, you know, um, you know, you know, you know the, 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 the political dynamics of Israel and air. You know, folks, if Israel disappeared off the face of the earth tomorrow, the people who are advocating all this anti-Semitism would still be there and they wouldn't care. This isn't about, you know, Israel at all. It's just about this oldest of, of, of prejudices against the Jewish people. And so your Jewish friends, that's what they're feeling now that there is no one there. They, the Jewish families are literally having conversations. Who's going to hide them? Let that, that, let that ring in, that they're literally having those conversations. If things go south, who's going to hide them? And there's a moment, you know, you see a lot of maybe your Jewish friends posting about this and people, why are they posting so much about this? Because 80, 90 years ago, people were silent. And this is exactly what happened in 1930s. You know, it didn't start with gas chambers. It started with, with the animosity against the Jewish people. It started with the, the anti-Semitism, the blood libels that you hear even today on college campuses against Israel and the Jewish people. And it started with silence. And so you can all do something. You can reach out to your Jewish friends. You can, you know, talk to your non-Jewish friends. What we need are those righteous Gentiles. As I say, we need much more Oscar Schindlers right now and a lot less Henri Patans. And, you know, Oscar Schindler, of course, this man who did so much to save the Jewish people and Henri Patan, an infamous Nazi collaborator during World War II. 
And so we need more of those Oscar Schindlers. And you could be that person. You could be that individual who, who reaches out to a Jewish friend, uses your social media, you know, explains that, you know, what's going on is just not okay. And, you know, you don't see mobs of people coming after any other group right now on college campuses, just the Jewish people. And so, you know, I'm just kind of talking. I'm just, you know, and I'm going to try not to do a billion videos on this. I already have my own thing. I want to move on to other things. I know there's like a movie coming out on Napoleon uh, that I wanted to kind of show. But I, I want you to kind of get an understanding of this is where your Jewish community is right now. And anything you can do, a simple message, a simple post, a simple anything, you know, you know, like it says, never again is now. So I've been using this image here as I've been talking uh, because there's been a 400 percent increase in anti-Semitism in the United States just in the last few weeks, 400 percent, which is already higher than any other group. And so the silence is what's killing your friends. It's that's what's really hurting them. Um, you know, and so if you do know people, talk to them and say something because Never again really is right now. And so I know I'm just kind of rambling at this point, uh, but it's just what what people need to hear. So anyways, you know, if you want, please share this, you know, talk to your friends. Um, you know, it's, it's all stuff you could do to help because, you know, there's an old saying in the Talmud, he who saves a life saves the world. And each of you who speaks up is saving a life. You really are. Um, and you are saving the world. And so kind of kind of remember that. All right, everyone. Well, thank you for listening to this. I appreciate it. Everyone have a good day.